We got the full plate for you guys today. We will get into KD's historic game five in a little bit. But we got to start with a eventful day of NBA news. And that means starting with the L.A. Clippers, who announced Kawhi Leonard is not only out of tonight's pivotal game five against the Jazz with a right knee sprain is what they're calling it right now. But he is out indefinitely. Now, remember, he appeared to tweak his knee during the fourth quarter of Monday's win. He sat out the final few minutes. Ramona, you were the one reporting on this story for us as it broke. What can you tell us about this injury? Well, this is a, a cause for concern, Rachel. I mean, I, you know, I didn't think he was all that injured in the game because he came out, we, he was sitting on the bench, there was no trainer attending to him, he wasn't right. on the injury report in the morning. And he but, talked about it after yeah, the game. And he, uh, and he well, said, he said uh, I don't want to talk about it, next question. <laughs> so, you know, with Kawhi, that could mean anything. Say, I'm fine, next question. Yeah, I'm fine, next question. He, yeah. said, he said, I'm, I'm fine. fine. Next question. Yeah. So that's what we heard after the game. Yeah, he seemed okay. He answered a bunch of questions, seemed to be in an okay mood. Um, last night, uh, I, I kind of got worried that the the situation, that they got bad news on, on whatever imaging they had done or tests mm -hmm. they had done during the day. The fear, Rachel, is that this involves the ACL, right. which is a ligament in your knee. Mm -hmm. They're calling it a sprain for right now, but they need to do some more imaging to determine how severe this is because when you have an injury in a game Matt and you know this it swells up the next day mm -hmm. and it's hard to determine exactly which ligaments are involved here how serious this is so right now they're calling this a right knee sprain um, but they need to do some more tests to see how severe this is I think right now the Clippers are prepared to be without him tonight and and most likely for the rest of this series yes. and look we and, know no, Let's see I how severe it is. Sprain, especially in ACL, you want to err on the side of caution. So he could, and you hate to say it, could be done for the playoffs. Right. Mm. And, and look, we saw, again, I think with the uh, Kevin Durant experience in yeah. the NBA Finals a couple years yep. ago looms over every decision that yep. every NBA team is making now, right? If there is something that looks, this could be bad involving an area of your body where, oh, my gosh, we could have long-term effects that could knock you out not just for the rest yeah. of the playoffs, but maybe for a year or two, you know, that timeline gets longer and longer. Yes. That is some of the concern with saying, nah, just go out there and play. It's such an important time of year. Matt, we know now on the other side, by the way, that the Jazz's Mike Conley is also out Ooh. tonight. His hamstring, of course, has been keeping him out for a while now. Right. I don't know if the Jazz saw that. He was questionable originally. Yeah. I don't know if the Jazz saw the Clippers injury report and were yeah. like, maybe we don't I need did. to rush Mike no, Conley that's back. That's right. just me speculating. But Matt, what do you think that the Clippers need to do there at least tonight going out without Kawhi Leonard. They need to rally around their team right now. Uh, you know, Paul George is is 1A now, and he's been playing well of late. You just hate to see this because Kawhi has these guys playing so well. Although they went in a 2-0, uh, down 0-2, they've come back in convincing fashion the last two games and really have everyone thinking that they're on their way to the Western Conference Finals. So this is a huge blow to the team. But one good thing for Coach uh, Lou is he has a very deep team. Obviously, you can't replace a guy like Kawhi with one or two players, but by committee, hopefully they can get some of his numbers and the defensive presence he normally brings every night and, and PG he averaged 26 when Kawhi's out yep. five more shots a game mm -hmm. Terrence man this is your time <laughs> more senior this is your time mm -hmm. but I'm looking at hotels in Salt Lake City for the West Finals <laughs> right Park. now Park City or down uh, Kawhi is the reason why they're here yes right. uh, he is their their Superman and, and he's been so much more aggressive this series and at the end of last series like I, I think Paul has it in him, but we need to see some special uh, special performance from him like we saw from Kevin Durant last night for the Clippers to survive. And that still might not be enough. Right. And I mean, by the way, oh, we need to see like what we saw from Kevin Durant last night. That's a nice sentence <laughs> that's to a, say. That's a lot, right? No, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> No pressure. <laughs> that was an extremely historic performance, a tall order. And by the way, from a guy who is considered possibly the best in the game right now, I'm not sure that Paul George, a lot of that should be put on his plate as well. We will see. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.